My main tip is to incorporate texture into your groove. You could play the most simple pattern. Right? Or let's say we start from here. Which is one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Let's fill in more of that space with ghost notes so that we're giving ourselves opportunity to do more with it. Now to make this very simple groove a bit more interesting, I'm gonna put an extra ding in there, why not? And then from here, I'm just gonna change the dynamics of my ghost notes. They're already here because I'm constantly doing this, but just by slightly changing the way that I play them every now and then, it starts to be more pretty and more interesting. Oh, throwing in an extra note there. Oh, some twinkly fingers. I remembered now, that was another question somebody had. These. We'll go into those next time. Right? So now I'm adding dynamic to the ghost notes. I can also start to add more muted tones, so I'm exploring texture. I'm literally just playing the groove round once, open, and round a second time, but muted. That's it, that's all I'm changing. And already it's starting to get more interesting. Then, if I change where I do the mute so that it happens less often, then that's even more exciting. Also incorporating the different, um, like, higher and lower ghost note elements. bit of mute, mute and not for the whole phrase and some little different elements little rolls these are really easy rolls I call them lazy roll I'm literally just rotating my hand and letting my fingers drop over time you can start to be more intentional with how you use these but it's a really nice place to start to just have these kind of little rolls in there right so that's just a quick introduction on how you can make existing rhythms existing very simple rhythms uh, more beautiful and more interesting just by exploring texture and dynamics.